Just using a glass slab and a impression spatula or a flexible flat bladed spatula. Once you don't have any more streaks in your mix, you can start loading. You want to load it from the sides. I like to load it onto my borders. Then I like to load it onto the body of my tray. Okay, I'm gonna just place it into the patient's mouth. Lift up the frenum, make sure I got the frenum position right. Place it into the patient's mouth. If I have some material falling off, I want to maybe scoop it onto the tray. Okay. Wait for a few seconds because the material will be flowing. And then have a look. Okay, still soft. Okay, so yeah. When you're doing the molding, you want to look inside the mouth to make sure you can see the green stick. Can you see the green stick here? You want to make sure you see the green stick because your borders should be at the level of the green stick and not beyond it. I need to help my patient a bit. I'm just going to take my instrument and the pathway and just slowly take off some of the material so that the patient is not struggling anymore. Okay. Just trying to take off the material that was into the flowing into the palate. Okay, and then leave this aside. Come back to my molding. Make sure I get my freedom. Okay. So at this point, when you look inside, you can see areas of green. You know that your green stick material is visible through the through the impression. When you take out the impression, the zinc oxide original must be at the level of the green stick. Wait for the material to set, it's still setting. Now the material is set. I can make the material into a ball. So this is the easy way to know. From the old mix, you can check that. You can see all my borders. You can check if it's set. Just lift up the ear weight, suck up each way, and if him relax, I can take out the impression. When I see the impression, very clearly I can see green areas along the border. This shows me that my impression is at the level of the green stick and not beyond it. If you have green stick sticking up, I'm sorry, zinc oxide oil sticking up, one to two millimeters above the green stick, you know that you have again overextended your denture. You may have some denuded areas in the rugae area and the papilla area, that means that they have been compressed a bit. Since this is a close fit technique, obviously there will be some compression there. You can verify the height of your impression by just taking an instrument and trying to cut through. You see, I'm reaching my green stick directly, even here. Even in this region. 
if I'm not, if I, if, if I'm able to go in more than two millimeters to reach the green stick, then I know that I have overextended my impression. You want to transfer your posterior line to the impression. Clean them out, especially the posterior vibrating seal area, vibrating line area. Let me get the light into that. We have the hamlet notch here that we marked, the phobia here, the hamlet notch here on the other side, Ula. and we have the posterior vibrating line passing through this region. Having drawn this, with the mouth still dry, take the impression, place it in the mouth. Gulha. Okay. And take it out again. We have the posterior vibrating line marked up here. And you want to just darken it as it passes through. And that should be, as you can see, the phobia here already. You know your possible bedding line is just beyond that.